And so if your goal is to maintain power, and if you think once you relinquish power, the problem with everything becoming, the problem with criminalizing politics is the people who do it imagine or know that it will be done to them. So once you start indicting your political opponents, you know that you have to win or else they're going to indict you if they win, right? Right. And so they can't lose. They will do anything to win. So how do they do that? They're not going to do COVID again. I know everyone on the right's afraid they're going to do COVID and mask mandate. They're not going to do that. They can't do that. If they've already been exposed, that won't work. There's going to be, no, what are they going to do? They're going to go to war with Russia is what they're going to do. There will be a hot war between the United States and Russia in the next year. And really? On the, of, yes, of course. They want it anyway. Um, I don't think we'll win it, but that's a separate analysis. But I think it's a political matter. They need to declare war footing in order to assume war powers in order to win. I believe that. And I think well, the evidence suggests that's true. So if you're worried about our politics getting like even more vicious than it already is, and people being hurt in our politics, which is entirely possible, you should be worried about the prospect of an open war. We're already at war with Russia, of course. We're, we're funding their enemies. So we're fighting Russia. But I mean, an open battle with Russia, where we say we're at war with Russia. I think that could easily happen. Uh, you know, I think we could Tonkin gulf our way into it, where all of a sudden missiles land in Poland. The Russians did it. Our NATO allies has been attacked. We're going to war. I could see that happening very easily. So if you're worried about that, you need to put as much pressure as you possibly can on the Republican-held Senate to force a peace, which can be done. The United States could force a peace in Ukraine tonight. We're funding one side. There is no Ukrainian army outside of NATO. If NATO withdrew its support for Ukraine, Ukraine would crumble in a day. So we are the only power in the world that can bring both sides to the table to force a peace, which will be unsatisfactory as all forced pieces are. Like each side will give more than it wants, but that's the only option. Otherwise, we I would bet my house on it. We are going to war with Russia. And of course, the stakes are, are everything, our life on the planet. I mean, these are the two biggest nuclear arsenals in the world facing off against each other. So like, this is insane. They're insane. These are people who think men can become women who believe that face masks save you from COVID. I mean, these are not rational people. Would they go to war with Russia? Of course they would. Again, they want to anyway. And well, I don't know why Republicans don't get this at all, but they don't seem to get it. And meanwhile, Republican leaders, and Mitch McConnell's seen now too, so I don't even blame him, but all the stupid Republican senators and McCarthy in the House I mean, it's pathetic. Um, these people are all on board with the war against Russia. Why? 